Let's showcase the complete procedure of gastrocobi from the check for iteration in this video. Welcome to Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. that we have a system of equations with three variables marking three equations. They are 2x plus 2y minus 4z is equal to negative 90. 4x plus y minus 2z is equal to negative 4.20. And x plus 3y plus z is equal to 6.40. We check for iterations by main diagonal dominance, starting with the variable x from which the second equation with 4x is taken because 4x is the highest coefficient in the group. Next is from the y variables where we have 2y, y, and 3y. So we take the equation with 3y as the second equation. Then, from the z variables, 4z will prevail and the equation where it came from will be the third equation. The next check is done horizontally. For the first equation, the coefficient of x is compared with the coefficients of the other variables, that is, is 4 greater than or equal to the sum of the absolute values of 1 and negative 2? The answer is yes, as we get 4 is greater than or equal to 3. Next is for the coefficient of y, so we have the absolute value of 3 is compared with the absolute values of positive 1 and positive 1, leading to 3 is greater than or equal to 2. This is again a true statement. The last equation has the coefficient of z in absolute value compared to the other variables, so we get 4 is greater than or equal to 4. Now that we have the system of linear equations past the checks for iteration, we can isolate each variable. So from the first equation, x is taken as a quarter of negative 4.2 less y plus 2z. The second equation gives y as a third of 6.4 minus x minus z. Then, the last equation takes z as equal to one-fourth of 2x plus 2y plus 0 0.9. Finally, we can start iterating where the initial values are assumed as 0. x sub 1 is then computed as 1 fourth of negative 4.2 minus 0 plus twice of 0, and that is negative 1.05. y sub 1 is taken as 1 third of 6.4 minus 0 minus 0, and that is 2.1333. Z sub 1 is 1 fourth times twice of 0, plus 2 times 0, plus 0 0.9, giving 0 0.2250. These values are the first iteration results. Moving to the next iteration, x sub 2 is a quarter of negative 4.2, minus 2.1333, plus 2 times 0 0.2250, to give negative 1.4708. Y sub 2 is a third of 6.4 minus negative 1.05 minus 0 0.2250, which results to 2.4083. And Z sub 2 is a quarter of 2 times negative 1.05 plus 2 times 2.1333 plus 0 0.90, which is 0 0.7667. These are the second iteration values. Because the trend isn't clear yet, we can continue to the third iteration. We have x sub 3 as 1 fourth of negative 4.2 less 2.4083 plus 2 times 0 0.7667 to get negative 1.2688. 
y sub 3 is 1 third of 6.4 minus negative 1.4708 minus 0 0.7667 resulting to 2.3681. Then z sub 3 is 1 fourth of the quantity 2 times negative 1.4708 plus 2 times 2.4083 plus 0 0.90 giving 0 0.6938. These are the third iteration values. The fourth iteration starts back to x sub 4, which is equated to 1 fourth of negative 4.2 minus 2.3681 plus twice of 0 0.6938, and that is negative 1.2951. y sub 4 is a third of 6.4, minus negative 1.2688 minus 0 0.6938 to have 2.3250. Z sub 4 is computed as a quarter of twice of negative 1.2688 plus twice of 2.3681 plus 0 0.90 to have 0 0.7747. Going to the fifth iteration, x sub 5 is 1 fourth of negative 4.2 minus 2.3250 plus 2 times 0 0.7747 giving negative 1.2439. y sub 5 is a third of 6.4 minus negative 1.2951 minus 0 0.7747 which is simplified as 2.3068. Then, z sub 5 is a quarter of 2 times negative 1.2951 plus 2 times 2.3250 plus 0 0.90, giving 0 0.7399. So the fifth iteration is complete. Then on to the sixth iteration. x sub 6 is 1 fourth of negative 4.2 minus 2.3068 plus twice of 0 0.7399 resulting to negative 1.2567. y sub 6 is 1 third of 6.4 minus negative 1.2439 minus 0 0.7399 to get 2.3013. z sub 6 is a quarter of twice of negative 1.2439 plus twice of 2.3068 plus 0 0.90 to have 0 0.7565. These are the six iteration values. Seemingly, decimals at this stage change minimally. We verify our answer by continuing to the seventh iteration. x sub 7 is computed as 1 fourth of negative 4.2 minus 2.3013 plus 2 times 0 0.7565, giving negative 1.2471. y sub 7 is 1 third of 6.40, minus negative 1.2567, minus 0 0.7565, to give 2.301. Then, at z sub 7, we have 1 fourth of 2 times negative 1.2567, plus 2 times 2.3013 plus 0 0.9 to reach 0 0.7473. And if we try to iterate one last step, we have x sub 8 as 1 fourth of negative 4.2 minus 2.3001 plus twice of 0 0.7473 to get negative 1.2514. y sub 8 is a third of 6.4 minus negative 1.2514 minus 0 0.7473 to have 2.2999. And z sub 8 is 1 fourth of 2 times negative 1.2471 plus 2 times 2.3001 plus 0 0.90. And that is 0 0.7515. Although the values have not yet converged completely, we can conclude that at this point, the values of x is negative 1.25, y is 2.3, and z is 0 0.75.